In a world filled with the unknown, there are stories that send chills down our spines and haunt our dreams. Welcome back to Top Rack Facts, where today, we're delving into the shadows to uncover 10 terrifying paranormal stories that will haunt you forever. So, dim the lights, and prepare for a journey into the supernatural. I'm your guide on this eerie journey. Today, we're not just exploring stories, we're unearthing encounters that defy explanation and challenge our understanding of reality. Story 1, The Haunting of the Amityville House. In December 1975, George and Kathy Lutz moved into a charming Dutch colonial house in Amityville, New York, with their three children. They were unaware that just a year earlier, Ronald DeFeo Jr. had murdered six members of his family in that very house. From the moment they moved in, the Lutz family experienced an array of terrifying phenomena. They reported cold spots, strange odors, and green slime oozing from the walls. George began waking up at 3.15 a.m. every night, the time of the murders. The most chilling encounter was when their daughter Missy described a demonic pig-like creature named Jody, which she claimed to see outside her window. The family fled after only 28 days, leaving their belongings behind. The Amityville horror has since inspired numerous books, movies, and debates over the veracity of their experiences. Story 2, The Bell Witch In the early 19th century, the Bell family of Adams, Tennessee, became victims of one of the most famous hauntings in American history. The Bell Witch, as the entity came to be known, began tormenting the family with strange noises like knocking and scratching. Soon, the activity escalated to physical attacks, particularly targeting John Bell and his daughter Betsy. The spirit claimed to be Kate Batts, a neighbor who felt wronged by John. The Bell Witch displayed an eerie intelligence, holding conversations and even revealing details about people's lives that she shouldn't have known. The haunting continued for years, with the spirit promising to kill John Bell, a threat she eventually carried out by poisoning him. The Bell Witch legend remains a cornerstone of American folklore, studied by paranormal enthusiasts and historians alike. Story 3, The Enfield Poltergeist. In 1977, the quiet suburb of Enfield, England, became the focus of intense poltergeist activity in the home of single mother Peggy Hodgson and her four children. It all began when Peggy heard loud noises from her daughter's bedroom. She entered to find furniture moving on its own. Over the next 18 months, the family was subjected to disturbing phenomena, including levitations, flying objects, and eerie voices. 11-year-old Janet appeared to be the epicenter, often found in trances or being thrown from her bed. Investigators from the Society for Psychical Research, including Maurice Grossa and Guy Lyon Playfair, documented the events extensively. The poltergeist claimed to be the spirit of Bill Wilkins, a man who had died in the house years before. Despite accusations of hoaxing, many believe the Enfield poltergeist is one of the most compelling cases of paranormal activity. Story 4, The Ghosts of the Stanley Hotel The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, is renowned not only for its grandeur but also for its hauntings. Built in 1909 by freelance Oscar Stanley, the hotel quickly gained a reputation for paranormal activity. Guests often report hearing piano music emanating from the empty ballroom, believed to be played by Flora Stanley, Freeland's wife. Room 217, where Stephen King stayed and was inspired to write The Shining, is particularly notorious. Visitors have reported seeing a chambermaid who was injured in an explosion there in 1911. The fourth floor, once the servants' quarters, is another hotspot, with reports of children playing and running down the halls. These ghostly encounters make the Stanley Hotel a popular destination for both tourists and paranormal investigators. Story 5, The Brown Lady of Raynham Hall. In 1936, photographers from Country Life magazine captured one of the most famous ghost photographs ever taken at Raynham Hall in Norfolk, England. The image, known as the Brown Lady, shows a spectral figure descending the staircase. The ghost is believed to be Lady Dorothy Walpole, 
who died under mysterious circumstances in 1726. Witnesses have described her as wearing a brown brocade dress, with empty eye sockets that add to her terrifying appearance. Sightings of the Brown Lady date back to the 19th century, with numerous accounts from both guests and staff at the hall. The photograph and consistent eyewitness testimonies have solidified the Brown Lady status as one of the most credible and chilling ghost stories in history. Story 6, The Winchester Mystery House Sarah Winchester, widow of the rifle magnate William Wirt Winchester, began constructing the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California, in 1884. Following the deaths of her husband and child, Sarah was convinced that she was haunted by the spirits of those killed by Winchester rifles. To appease them, she built a sprawling mansion, guided by daily seances to determine its design. The result is a labyrinthine house with 160 rooms, staircases that lead to nowhere, doors that open into walls, and secret passages. Construction continued until Sarah's death in 1922. Today, the Winchester Mystery House is a National Historic Landmark and a popular tourist attraction, drawing those intrigued by its bizarre architecture and ghostly legends. Story 7, The Myrtles Plantation Built in 1796, the Myrtles Plantation in St. Francisville, Louisiana, is one of America's most haunted homes. The most famous legend involves Chloe, a slave who was allegedly hanged for poisoning the plantation owner's family. Chloe's spirit, often seen wearing a green turban, is said to roam the grounds. Visitors have reported seeing ghostly children playing on the veranda, and a haunted mirror is said to hold the spirits of Sarah Woodruff and her children, who were poisoned by Chloe. Ghostly footsteps, sudden cold spots, and apparitions are common occurrences. The Myrtles Plantation's dark history and numerous paranormal reports make it a magnet for ghost hunters and curious tourists. Story 8, The Screaming Tunnel The Screaming Tunnel, located in Niagara Falls, Canada, is a dark, eerie passage with a haunting legend. According to the tale, a young girl fled into the tunnel to escape a fire in her farmhouse but succumbed to the flames. It is said that if you stand in the middle of the tunnel at midnight and light a match, the girl's tormented screams will echo through the darkness, and the flame will be mysteriously extinguished. The screaming tunnel has become a local legend, attracting thrill-seekers and paranormal enthusiasts. The tunnel's dark, claustrophobic atmosphere and chilling history make it a popular destination for those brave enough to test the legend. Story 9, The Island of the Dolls Located in the canals of Xochimilco, Mexico, the Island of the Dolls is a chilling site covered with thousands of decaying dolls hanging from trees and buildings. The island's caretaker, Don Julian Santana, began collecting the dolls after finding a drowned girl in the canal. He believed the dolls were possessed by her spirit and continued to add to the collection for over 50 years until his own death in 2001, reportedly in the same spot where he found the girl. Visitors to the island often report feeling an oppressive atmosphere, hearing whispers, and seeing the doll's eyes follow them. The Island of the Dolls is a macabre tourist attraction, drawing those fascinated by its eerie history and supernatural reputation. Story 10, The Shadow People Shadow people are dark, shadowy figures that appear at the edge of vision and vanish when looked at directly. Reports of encounters with these entities span cultures and centuries, with descriptions ranging from fleeting glimpses to terrifying confrontations. Some believe shadow people are ghosts, while others think they are interdimensional beings or manifestations of negative energy. The Hat Man, a shadow figure wearing a wide-brimmed hat, is a particularly common sighting. Encounters with shadow people often leave witnesses feeling an overwhelming sense of dread and fear. The phenomenon of shadow people continues to intrigue and terrify those who experience these mysterious apparitions. If you enjoyed this eerie expedition, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, the paranormal is all around us, waiting to be discovered. Until next time, stay curious and keep seeking the truth.